As you know, we are nearing the longest economic recovery in modern history. And as Isaac Newton once observed, what goes up must come down. This is a time to save for our future, not to make pricey promises we can't keep. I said it before and I'll say it again. Let's not blow it now. We've worked too hard for that. I have some charts here and uh, through uh, discussing those, I want to go over our, our uh, budget situation. Uh, revenues have grown uh, since January, uh, but so have expenditures. And we're getting further and further away uh, from the recession. And that's something that uh, people ought to keep in mind because the longest was, uh, uh, recovery ever was 10 years. And we're getting very close to that 10th year. So let me just go over a few things. First, uh, the big spending. You notice uh, K-14 schools funding at an all-time high. 78.4 million. The recession, it was down to 47. That's real money. It's going to kids. Uh, over uh, $4,000 per child, extra money. On the other side, we have the Medi-Cal health spending. You see we're starting at 43 a billion, and now we're up to 103. And those, this has gone up, uh, what is it, about 13 billion over that time? Uh, the general fund's up about 8 billion. Up about 8 billion. But as you see, the green is the federal, but that federal will shrink. And by the way, it could be taken away uh, by Congress. And if it's taken away by Congress, that's another threat. So we've got some big money, uh, but on, on that uh, health care side, uh, it, it's uncertain. And then finally, uh, the charge that we're, we're not doing enough. I mean, there is no state that even comes close uh, to the kind of health care and education spending. One item that is not broken out here, but I remember being in this room back in 1975, and warning that the in-home supportive services called Homemaker Chores at the time were 65 million and they were going to 120 million, doubling. I warned people about that. It's now 13 billion. That's uh, contained in those charts. So things are on the move. All right. Uh, this, this chart illustrates where we are. The longest recession, uh, the longest recovery, rather, started in April uh, 1991. And uh, as you see, it's 10 years. We're just a little ways. We're right here right now. And we get to there, uh, then we have an overhang. And I, uh, overhang meaning we're beyond anything that's happened before. Now, one thing that I've sometimes missed I think we all tend to forget it. The revenue that we project is not in the bank. It is a prediction of revenue to come. But no taxpayer has, has paid it, and in many cases they haven't even earned it yet. So it is a prediction. Now, the secret in uh, economics, one of the really important secrets, is that economists never predict a recession. So from the economist's point of view, when they write up these uh, these budgets over five years, they never say at this year there'll be a recession. That, that's a quirk in the system. So we have to realize that. Now, uh, example over here, we have the capital gains. That's just one piece of our revenue stream. I want to just say, up here, Gray Davis, he was really feeling great. But he ended up down here. Arnold started to feel even a little greater. And he ended up down here. So now we're up here, and that line up there doesn't exist. That's a Cohen special. <laughs> now I want to just put a, a big, well, you can't really see that red, but there it is. Now, I'm gonna, that's the Cohen line. I want to draw the Jerry Brown line. <laughs> okay, so it's hard to see. Like maybe, is this black? No, that's, that's, that's right. white. I think they got it. <laughs> question mark, question mark. All right, now, you want to take that out? Life is very giddy at the peak. And that's, those are the peaks. But I'm not giddy, I'm pretty... That's it on that side. Oh, that's it on that Okay. Yeah, we have this little one. Uh, 
This is another one of the more famous charts. When I used to show it, we didn't have these little black boxes. But if you know, there's where it all started in happy times. And then that was the, the uh, more than a decade long of real economic hardship. So we're up here. Uh, there are some people who think this will never happen. In fact, we had people talking at this period that we're in a new economy. Because of globalization and technology, we don't have those old uh, nasty recessions. But they're going to come. And so that's why we have our rainy day fund. We're going to fill it uh, to make sure at least you have $13 billion to weather a storm, which will be more like $60 billion. 